I was born in Iran and in Tehran and I left Iran as a teenager to study English. Um, I started pottery over 20 years ago and established the Abu Dhabi Pottery in 1994. Um, I think it's important to have patience uh, because uh, the processes you go through when you're making or creating a pot takes a long time. And myself, I was not a patient person, but pottery taught me patience because you have to wait for the pot to dry after creating it, then you have to fire it once, it comes out, then you have to put the uh, glaze on it and fire it one more time. And each time you have to wait two days for cooling, so you have to be very patient. And the other thing is that you have to be very disciplined and dedicated to be willing to do a lot of hard work until you get the results that you want. I think the biggest struggles was working a lot on my own to start with because I met a Malaysian potter earlier on when I started doing pottery but he left soon after we met so I had to buy a lot of books and do a lot of things experimental on my own to find the right or wrong way and that was quite hard. I think the most rewarding part of teaching is seeing the expression of the students on students' faces when they make their first part or when their first part comes out of a kiln. Uh, often I'm told or asked why am I teaching beginners, but I love teaching beginners because the first time they make something, the expression is just fantastic. To actually to follow what they love, to do what you want to do to, and that you really love because if you do something you don't like, you can't be successful at it. I know Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss, and it's something that's very true. If you follow what you love, you can become successful.